Hello. Uh, today we're here to uh, talk a little bit about Delve. Delve is a new addition into the Office 365 environment. Um, it is accessed through the Office 365 portal. The screen you're looking at is, uh, is my calendar. Um, shows on the left, obviously, my calendar, some contacts, folks that I can look at their calendars or I can IM or whatever from this point. My current day, good news, I'm a little busy. Um, pop-ups showing me new emails, etc. Along the top, it shows me the different licenses that I have access to, Outlook, Calendar, uh, Contacts, my Yammer, OneDrive site, CRM, etc. A new entry is Delve, and Delve is a recent release from Microsoft. Uh, Delve is an enterprise-wide search application that is being delivered first through the Office 365 portal with the ability to extend to on-premise resources and alike. Now, Delve definition, based on Oxford, is the ability to reach inside or look inside a container, receptacle, whatever you want, um, do and search for something. And in the case of Delve, you have the ability to do natural language, search, speech, and the speed of it is very, very impressive, which you'll see in a few minutes. Um, Office Delve is a, as I said, it's this is the latest and newest offering from Microsoft. Uh, it is one of the new CEO Sache's go-to market, and I recommend that you take a look at it because the future or what we're looking to get done in the IT environment is very focused on faster, easier, quicker, and more secure access to data. So, with that being said, I'm going to switch back to my portal. And to get into the Delve environment, I literally just click on the Delve um, button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Now, the first time you log in, you will be prompted and you have to hit OK. Past that, it will spend the next few days um, searching all of the resources that you have mapped or made available to your Office 365 environment, whether that's SharePoint, OneDrive, etc. And it will, based on time, based on stuff that you're working on the most, try to push data to you that's most um, consistent with what you're doing. But the true power of Delve is the ability to search. So I'd like to give you a brief example of it. This is a live search. I'm doing this based on my OneDrive, other folks in the organization's OneDrive, our Office 365 um, SharePoint sites, uh, and of course, different email accounts. And I'm only going to be delivered data that I'm allowed to see. So, um, so for example, some of the things that we do here at Champion that are a lot, we spend a lot of time working in Azure. So I'm going to just type in the word Azure, and as you can see, there are a lot of there are a lot of results. And if I go down, there's pictures, there's images, uh, briefings, etc. Okay, this is way too much data. I can't possibly go through that many searches. Um, so let's say I'm looking to uh, do it. I'm working on a solution related to Azure for, let's say, branch cache. Branch cache is a way of replicating data um, to remote locations, etc. And I can then put it in branch. It's going to do a search. Obviously, um, it's looking in multiple locations, and it will come back and give me valid information. Okay, I've now I'm down to only a few pages of searches. All right. Well, I'm only interested in stuff that shall we say, contains 2014. All right, so I'm down from 20 or 30 to six. Great, now I've got what I need. Okay, oh, this isn't what I need. I got rid of too much stuff. I want something um, that says, let's say, 2012. Okay, that's going to increase my results and hopefully I'll have what I want. And, and you all get the idea. Um, it was interesting because uh, when I turned this on yesterday, I was like, Oh, this is great. Walked into Bill Phelps' office. Bill is our CTO. And he said, I wonder if you can see what's in my OneDrive. So I, and he said, here's an example, business continuity. So I, I went into search yesterday, and you'll notice I put in business continuity, and it's showing um, information we received from IBM, uh, instructions creating B B BC plans, etc. cetera. Um, it's, and... This is not, I'm looking for the business continuity plan for Champion. Okay. And if I wanted to go further, I could type Champion. And by the way, spelling does count. 
Um, so you'll notice that I've got now the business. Now, if I want to open it, I can literally just click on it right here, Bill Phelps OneDrive. Now, you'll notice a couple of icons down here. You've got an email icon, and then you've got persons icon. The email icon, basically, it is there to say, do you need to know who can see this? And from an, and to determine who can see this, you can actually click on the on the persons, and it will actually pull up both the AD groups that are able to see it, and individuals. And finally, if you do have if you have the need, you do have the ability to share it with other people, assuming of course your user. So there's the group that has access to it. Okay. So SharePoint group, sorry, it's one of those SharePoint things. And but if I wanted to invite another person, I could do that. And let's say I we have a new employee or we have an external person or something, I can type in the name, search in our AD for it, uh, and share it. Okay. Um, and that that is that. So basically at the end of the day, Delve is an unbelievably powerful, quick, easy to use search engine. Um, that will provide your, you and your employees quick, easy access to the data that is out there, the stuff we spend half our lives searching for in outbox, inboxes, individual personal folders, etc. Thanks for your time today, and I hope you have a great day.